What's up everybody, APOC here with another pickup video. I want to wish everybody a happy Switch Day. Switch? Switch? Yeah, no. I didn't pick one up today. Uh, I'll probably end up picking one up maybe towards the end of this year. Um, I can't justify spending three, four hundred dollars on getting the console and the game. and I'm having way too much fun getting retro stuff right now. But maybe towards the end of the year when Black Friday... You know, maybe has a special or a bundle or something. I'll end up picking up one maybe towards the end of the year. But right now I'm worrying and concerned about picking up retro games. Um, this is kind of everything I got this week. Trades, offer up. Um, I think that was about it. A couple thrift store pickups and stuff. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Show you guys what I picked up over the last week. Starting off with one of the newer thrift stores in my area. Uh, guy prices his stuff really expensive. I was able to kind of talk him down on this stuff. Almost a little more than I'd want to spend on him. But I didn't have him, so I picked him up. First off, we got for the N64 F1 World Grand Prix. Labels in decent shape. Top Gear Overdrive. Uh, I think both of these... That one doesn't have it. This one's got... A little black marker on it that I can get off. And then uh, for the Atari 2600 Donkey Kong. So I'm still a little label damage right there, but not too bad. Uh, I got each one of these for uh, 250 a piece. So not too bad. And then if you guys were in Chris Miller's live stream, or if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen what I picked up next. Uh, I picked it up at the Goodwill. Uh, it was just kind of lonely sitting on a shelf. I'll put a picture up showing you kind of exactly where it was at. Uh, it was really dark in the store. And actually where it was sitting on the shelf was really, really kind of hidden down on the shelf. Super dark. I passed it like three times. I uh, saw it on the way out. Decided to go back and, you know, take a double look and see what it was. Uh, and it was Street Fighter 2. Not for resale. As you guys can see down there. I got it for $9.99. It's in very good condition. Not for resale, demo only. Does have one sticker on the back, but still, as you can see, I've already put it in my case, and it will be going right up in the collection, right here on the shelf. Kind of one of those awesome little finds. Uh, and then the next thing we did was a trade. Uh, I traded one of those um, Game Boy or GameCube. Game Boy Advanced uh, discs that you need to play, you know, the Game Boy Advanced games and stuff on the GameCube. Uh, I traded that for these three games to Dan T. So thank you, Dan. Appreciate the trade. Uh, we got Adventures of Link for the NES. Uh, Kirby's Adventure. And Kung Fu. Three games I didn't have. I think that bumps my NES collection up to around 62 or 63 games, so not too bad. And then, I'll do this one next. Uh, another thrift store in the area, uh, very hit and miss. Sometimes they have a few decent things that are overpriced, and other times they just got garbage. Um, kind of a funny story. When I walked in, I saw them sitting behind the counter. My daughter said she had to go to the bathroom, so I was like, all right, we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back. After she was done going to the bathroom, we came back, and of course, there is a gentleman at the counter with all the Nintendo games. He knew what everything was in there was worth, and just started cherry-picking everything out of there. There was uh, the uh, Zelda cart for the Super Nintendo, um, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, and he didn't. I couldn't see the third game he picked out, but I'm sure it was a decent title. Uh, all three of those games were $9.99 each. So he ended up getting a pretty decent score. Uh, after he was done, I went ahead and went through. And I was able to pick out one decent game and then a couple games that I didn't have. Um, Waylay Country Club for the N64. 99 cents. Not too bad. Didn't have it. Uh, for $1.99, FIFA Soccer, 64. Pretty decent shape. Just a little bit more black marker on these. And then uh, the one kind of decent find in there for 10 bucks, Snowboard Kids. So, just got to take a little bit of the marker off, but still. 10 bucks, that's not too bad. And then, 
we'll do this one. Uh, I was walking through the Goodwill, or not the Goodwill, the Value Village. Um, and my Value Village, I haven't found anything in weeks and weeks and weeks. It's kind of one of those times where you go through a lull and you're just about ready to give up on going to the thrift stores because you can't find anything. Just so overpicked. And I was finishing up my run, going around the normal circle I do, and I was getting ready to walk out, and I was in the back of the store, I hear the doors kind of click, and the lady starts rolling by with the cart, and it's got all the DVDs and stuff on it. I asked her, I was like, hey, do you got any video games on there as well, too? She's like, yeah. She stops and points on the cart where all the video games were, and I started running through them all, and I found Mario Party 9. Complete in very nice shape and I picked it up for five bucks so that was an awesome pickup nice little score um, as you can see I've kind of traded off most of my Wii collection not really going for it too much anymore I've kept some of the more expensive titles um, and of course all my Japanese games and stuff I have for it debating whether I want to keep this or flip it uh, get a nice little profit if I do flip it. Um, trying to buy more NES games and more cart games right now than than the disc stuff. And I'll probably come across these during garage sale season too, again, for real cheap. So not sure if I'm going to hang on to it now, but still a nice pickup for 5 bucks. And then the last two things I got were from OfferUp this week. I actually got them yesterday. Um, they both popped up. I was able to hit the guys these two individual sellers within I think five minutes of both these postings coming up so I was able to get both of them we will start out with this more Wii games like I said I don't know if I'm gonna hang one of them I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to the other of course I'm not gonna hang on to them um, I'll put a picture up here of the offer up ad he was asking it was really hard to see especially when you're scrolling through offer up it was really dark and kinda looks like there was a glare on it and stuff so the one game that was pricier uh, you couldn't really see all that well, but uh, I saw it right off the bat, texted him, oop, bumping my screen, texted him right away. He said, yep, sure, come pick it up. Uh, I think he was asking $3 per game. When I showed up, uh, I was only going to pick up the one game. He said, hey, would you do $5 for all four? They were all complete in good condition, so I went ahead and picked them up. Uh, we got Decca Sports for the Wii. Complete. Of course, that disc is flipped around. We Fit Plus. I believe it's complete. Yep, there it is. With all the little extra goodies in there. FIFA Soccer 12. And the reason why I went and picked them up, Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. In good condition and complete. So, two decent Wii titles I picked up almost back to back, so it was pretty sweet. And then the last pickup I got this week uh, was a Nintendo 64. Uh, it was just a 64 and the hookups. Just the black one, charcoal. Uh, does not have the expansion pack. Here's a picture of it on offer up, and as you can see, the reason why I picked it up not only for 20 bucks was because it has the fantastic blue controller, joysticks, and kind of decent shape. I'd have to say it's about seven and a half to an eight. There's a little bit of a wobble to it, but it's it's pretty good overall. Very very dirty, a lot of dirt corrode, dust bunch of stuff gummed up in it. I'll take it apart, clean it, and it will be going in my fantastic collection. So that was kind of the reason why I mostly picked it up. I'm going to flip the console uh, and stuff. So that was everything I got this week. A few odds and ends. Uh, nothing fantastic other than the Street Fighter. I love that Street Fighter. That's just sweet. Um, but yeah, that was about it. Uh, like I said, the Switch just came out today, so I hope everybody's having fun playing the Switch. Um, and other than that, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Later.